Nobody making any debuts in this game, but man, was this ever a good game. Starting lineups, I picked up the Diamond Steven Strasburg because, man, I failed miserably by picking up the Flashback Strasburg. I know I said I liked a couple more stats from the Flashback Strasburg. I mean, thinking about it now, the only stats that that Flashback Strasburg had that were better than the Diamond Strasburg were the Velocity and... I think the K's per nine innings, I'm pretty sure. But other than that, that was it. The Diamond Base Strasburg is 10 times better than the Flashback Strasburg. Plus, uh, the Diamond Strasburg has a... He has five pitches, I'm pretty sure. The Diamond Strasburg and the Flashback Strasburg. I think the extra pitch, is a, he has a slider now. And the stamina is much better on the Diamond Strasburg. I'm talking like 10... Attributes better. I think it's only 84 on the Flashback Strasburg and it's 94 on the Diamond Strasburg. So they're going for around the same price. So I figured why not sell the Flashback Strasburg and then pick up the base Strasburg. So he is on the hill this game. Surprisingly, David Price isn't on the mound, even though he does good every time he takes the mound. Strasburg is on the mound. And I get out of the top of the first. He gets out of the top of the first with only one hit, and then I'm not able to get anything in the bottom of the first, so I'm coming back out, trying to get him on the curveball down and away, so I'm going to the heater up in the strike zone, and I'm getting him. That is another thing, too. With the flashback Strasburg, he throws 100 on the gun, but the diamond Strasburg throws 97, I think was the highest he was reaching the gun in this game. So he doesn't have the fastest fastball, the the diamond strasburg but he does have an extra pitch so yeah i just in my opinion now i just think the diamond strasburg is better i don't know why i picked up the flashback strasburg i'm just looking for guys who can throw some heat but i already got some guys who can throw heat Cindergard, and then that uh felix hernandez flashback felix throws about 97 98 too so i got some guys who throw heat and price also throws 96 97 so i got guys who throw heat in the, uh, what are we in, the bottom of the second now? Or yeah, bottom of the second. Gwyn can't get anything after Fielder wasn't able to get anything. I actually got good, good contact on that ball with Fielder, but for some reason I just flew out to center field, and then Rod Carew can't get anything either. So first two innings, I got a donut on the board in the hitting category. So I'm struggling out of the gates. The boys usually don't struggle out of the gates. But I'm struggling out of the gates in this one. Top of the third now. I got a 2-2 count. This guy almost goes deep down the third baseline. But luckily that goes foul. And Crawford wasn't able to catch it anyway. So first out of the... Or second out of the inning is coming on the pop fly. And then two down now. I got a 0-2 count. Going to the curveball down. And Strasburg was racking up the, the Ks, man. He was racking up the Ks in this, this game. He definitely was... I always seem to rack up K's with every pitcher I go out there making the debut. Whenever they're making the debut, I always go out there and put on a good for performance from whoever's making the debut. I get like 10 plus K's with whoever's making the debut. Strasburg, speaking of Strasburg, going down on the strikeout from the fastball right down the middle. So I have no idea what the hell I was looking for right there. I couldn't have got anything better than that. This guy's coming out in the top of the fourth, driving one to left field. And there's now, there's still there's still no one out. It's an 0-2 count. And he's not advancing yet. He's still on first base. But I'm getting him on the fastball down in the strike zone. So Strasburg is working the fastball. Going back to the fastball down in the strike zone. Getting him looking right there. And then going up in the strike zone. And this guy must have been sitting on that. Because he is driving it to the gap. He is flying around the bases. And he gets in there. Dude on, look at dude on second base. He was, I didn't even see him. That was a fail right there because I could have got that guy going back to second base. Didn't even see him. So this guy takes the lead in the fourth inning. And then third out is coming from a fly out to Gwyn. So we're going into the bottom of the fourth. I got, or Ichiro actually led that off and just grounded out, I'm pretty sure. And then if anybody is going to end, there's anyone's going to take the goose egg off the board, it is going to be Barry Larkin. 100% and he does just that but then Beltre is going down swinging in the dirt 
And then that is a little bit of a strikeout, throw him out right there. So that ends that inning. Top of the fifth, he is sending another one down the line. This guy was making good contact on some of my pitches. I was hanging some pitches in the strike zone. Some mistakes were being made. But I'm going to the slider away, and he's checking his swing. But I guess he did swing because that was strike three. So two down now, driving one up the guts. And he's getting on the board again with another hit. But there's two down, so I'm not worrying too much. Going up in the strike zone. I'm able to get the third out of the inning on the fly out to Crawford in left field. So we're going into the bottom of the fifth. And Fielder is leading it off. And this would have been a single up the gut if that wasn't for if, th if it wasn't for the stupid shift. The damn shift is screwing me over. And Fielder wasn't able to get anything. And then Crew, two batters later, can't drive it over the left fielder's head. That making I was making good contact, though. I only have, what, still one hit on the board? This is an embarrassment from the boys. The boys aren't making any noise. But I was hoping that the bats would come alive later in this game. It's still one nothing though, so I still was very much in this game. First out of the inning has come to left field. Crawford able to take that easily. Then I'm getting the K. 0-2 count again with two down. Going to the off speed down in the strike zone. Getting him. So we're now in the bottom of the sixth. Crawford leading it off. Another guy in need leading off the innings. Slapping one to the left side of the field. Running that out easily. No chance in hell that this guy was throwing Crawford out right there. So I got Yogi Berra. Yogi coming to the dish and doing work. Driving one to the left center gap this time. And I got a bad jump right there, man. I thought that was going to be caught I don't know why that was looking good off the bat, but I thought it was going to be caught. Crawford didn't get a good jump off of first, and I didn't even advance Yogi right there. But then two batters later, Ichiro is sending a pop fly to left field, so I'm able to tag with Crawford. Thank God. I would have been some pissed off if I wasn't able to get a run right there. And then Barry Larkin getting jammed for the third out of the inning on the little blooper right there just behind second base. So we're going in the top of the seventh. It is now a 1-1 ball game. We got a 1-0 count. And then first out of the inning is coming on a ground out to Rod Crew right there. So one down. 0-0 count. Is this guy doing a little first pitch swing? And he is driving one to right field. And Gwyn is able to catch that easily. So now two down. Another 0-0 count. Another first pitch swing. And puff fly. Easy work. The big bats are coming up in the bottom of the seventh. Well, guys, if you split the difference between the fly ball and the grounder he's put in play, you've got a nice line drive. So maybe we'll witness that right here. Back goes Polanco to the track to the wall. See you later. Can I get a little bit of a slow clap right there? Fielder coming through again in the clutch. The guy cannot be stopped. And then Crew is slapping one to the left side of the field, getting that single right there. But then Crawford is just grounding up to short right there for the fielder's choice. So we're going in to the eighth. And I got the lead now after that fielder, Jack. And Strasburg was still on the hill, man. I wasn't planning on taking this guy out till at least then. I was still, I was still a bit hesitant on whether or not I wanted to take Strasburg out because I did have the pitcher coming, out, coming up to the plate in the next inning. And or at the bottom of the inning, so I didn't know if I should pinch hit for him. It was still up in the air, so he does strike. I think I struck with the side right there, didn't I? I don't know. But Yogi Berra is coming up to the plate again. Yogi, again, doing work, doing some work. Yogi is driving one to right field for the leadoff double. So I am pinch hitting Anthony Rizzo. And he is making the debut for the squad. I know I said there wasn't any date. Well, this isn't the debut. This is just the first time he's been in the game. First pitch swinging, and he's getting under it. Ah! I wanted to hit that to fucking orbit, man. But I'm getting under that. And I'm not even able to cash Yogi in as Barry Larkin, two batters later, is just flying out right there. So eighth inning. Or the top of the... What am I talking about? Top of the ninth inning. I got... Papelbon in to try and shut the door like he did the previous game. First out, fly out to Crawford and left. So I'm going back, doing a little shimmy on the mound. I am going down the strike zone, getting the K. Can he end it? 
Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the and wall. We'll do it again. Damn it, Papelbon. Damn it. God damn it, Papelbon. But I'm able to get the last guy. I got the big bats coming up to the plate, though. So maybe I could do something. Beltre can't. Fielder. Fielder. Prince Fielder gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Now a swing and a drive to center field. Back is the center fielder. Did he get enough of it? He did. Ball game over. That is my fucking dude right there, man. Prince Fielder, two clutch as shit home runs, man, to walk it off for the boys. This guy is too clutch for words to even describe, man. Way too clutch. Fielder walking it off. I was some damn jacked up when that shit happened. Do not worry. I got more Diamond Dynasty coming ASAP.